In today's video, I'll be upgrading my Ender 3 S1 Extruder to Sprite Extruder Pro. Hello makers, my name is Maki and welcome to another 3D Hub video. And today, I'll be upgrading my Ender 3 S1 Extruder to Sprite Extruder Pro. So this upgrade is only applicable to Ender 3 S1 and CR10 Smart Pro. This is the extruder upgrade kit na binili ko sa AliExpress compatible with Ender 3 S1 and CR10 Smart Pro. So kung meron kayong Ender 3, Ender 3 Pro, Ender 3 B2 and CR10, ito yung kailangan nyo. So may kasama siyang wiring. Um, bracket and then yung extruder niya nakakabit na yung bracket para sa CR touch at saka dun sa PCB board so make sure na tama yung binili yung kit kasi marami nang lumalabas sa internet ngayon na nagkakamali sila ng bili ng upgrade kit and then nagre sila sa social media so be sure na tama yung kit para sa machine nyo to start the upgrade, make sure your machine is not connected to power source and then remove this ribbon cable. And then unscrew this four screw. This extruder is connected to a PCB board na nakakonek dito sa plastic bracket which holds the CR touch. Uh, to be able to uh, remove the extruder, we need to disconnect all the connection na nakakabit to sa PCB board. So these are the connection. Fan 2 for part cooling. Fan 1 para sa heatsink cooling. CR touch uh, port. Stepper port. Thermistor. And heater cartridge. Kung hindi kayo komportable yung tanggalin to, so take a picture of it bago nyo i-disconnect. Yung heater cartridge at itong thermistor meron siyang uh, glue. So tanggalin nyo lang. So make sure na hindi wala kayong madadamage na part. To remove the extruder from the bracket, we need to undo this screw. One here, one here, and another one on this side. And then just slide the extruder out. This is the Sprite Extruder Pro which is compatible sa S1 and CR10 Smart Pro. Wala tong kasamang bracket with CR touch, wiring, tsaka yung carriage. So let's open up to see what's inside. This is the comparison from S1 stock extruder sa uh, Sprite Extruder Pro. Itong housing niya sa likod plastic pati itong lever and then yung throat niya meron pa siyang PTFE sleeve sa loob so ito namang Sprite Extruder Pro all metal pati yung lever niya and then yung throat is titanium alloy before I install this I'm gonna do some prep on this extruder this extruder supports 300 degrees printing temp so it's better to replace the nozzle with hard end nozzle. I have here a Creality uh, MKHF hard end nozzle. 
and then I will apply a uh, boronitride coating. So, ang purpose nito is para hindi magsis in case na later on palit tayo ng nozzle, hindi siya magsisis. So, lalagyan ko rin pati yung heater cartridge. lalagyan ko rin ng boron nitride yung heater cartridge. So, hindi ko na i-undo yung thermistor kasi sensitive siya. So, itutulak ko lang siya palabas. And then, apply lang ng boron nitride. And then make sure all the uh, fittings are properly tightened. So, ito, part cooling medyo gumagalaw. So, better check everything before you install it. Now, it's ready for installation. So, don't forget the silicone sock. So installing the bracket the extruder, just slide it in. And put the through three screws. Now we're gonna do the wiring connection, part cooling pan, so pan 2, hot end pan, so pan 1, CR touch, Stepper motor. Thermistor. And lastly, the heater cartridge. Now it's installing back to the printer. to turn on the 3D printer to see if everything is working fine. I'll preheat the nozzle to see if the fan will turn on at 50 degrees C.
Now that the extruder is upgraded, a few steps need to be done. Uh, bed leveling, extruder calibration, and PID tuning, which is nagawa ko na doon sa mga previous video, so check nyo na lang. Kasi parehas lang yung process niya dito sa upgrade na to. Kung bago ka lang dito sa channel, you might consider subscribing to update you on the upcoming video. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.